Question 1. What is the difference between stopping and terminating an EC2 instance? The answer is. When you stop an instance it is a normal shutdown. The corresponding EBS volume attached to that instance remains attached and you can restart the instance later. When you terminate an instance it gets deleted and you cannot restart that instance again later. And any EBS volume attached with that instance is also deleted. Question 2. Can an EC2 instance, inside a VPC connect with the EC2 instance, that belongs to another VPC? The answer is. Yes, it is possible. Instances in either VPC can communicate with each other as if they are within the same network. You can create a VPC peering connection between your own VPCs, or with a VPC in another AWS account. Question 3. What is difference between an elastic IP address and, a public IP address in AWS? The answer is. The public IP is associated with the instance until it is stopped or terminated only. A public IP is not static. Every time your instance is stopped or terminated the associated public IP gets vanished and a new public IP gets associated with that instance. To overcome this issue a public IP can be replaced by an elastic IP address. An elastic IP stays with the instance as long as the user doesn't manually detach it. Question 4. What is the use of connection draining? The answer is. Connection draining is a service under elastic load balancing. It keeps monitoring the health of the instances. If any instance fails, connection draining pulls all the traffic from that particular failed instance and, reroute the traffic to other healthy instances. Question 5. Can you change the private IP of an EC2 instance while it is running or stopped? The answer is. A private IP is static. And it is attached with an instance throughout his lifetime and cannot be changed. However, you can assign multiple private IP addresses, you can add or remove secondary addresses to an EC2 instance. Question 6. How do you safeguard your EC2 instances running in a VPC? The answer is. Security groups can be used to protect your EC2 instances in a VPC. We can configure both inbound and outbound traffic in a security group which enables secured access to your EC2 instances. Security group automatically denies any unauthorized access to your EC2 instances. Question 7. Can AMI be shared with another AWS account? The answer is. You can share an AMI with specific AWS accounts without making the AMI public. All you need is the AWS account IDs. You can only share AMI that have unencrypted volumes and volumes that are encrypted with a customer managed key. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more such videos at Simply Clouded. To subscribe our channel, please hit the bell icon at the bottom.